we have the question under angular momentum the question is saying a children's merry-go-round consisting of an essentially uniform 150 kg solid disk is rotating at 15 revolution per minute about a vertical axis the radius of the disk is 6 meters if an 80 kg person quickly sit down on the edge what is the new angular speed so whenever we're talking about angular momentum angular momentum is represented by the letter L okay so angular momentum is given by inertia times angular speed or angular velocity now whenever we're talking about momentum we have got the momentum before collision and momentum after collision so we can just in general we can say momentum before and momentum after so we've got the angular momentum before and angular momentum after so we can see that we have if we are saying that it is inertia times angular speed then we can have the angular momentum before and angular momentum after so the angular momentum before the person uh, was sitting on the disk meaning that we can say that before we are going to have two things but after you discover to say this person was sitting on top of the disk so when the disk was rotating even the person was rotating meaning that the speed which they're talking about is the same speed so meaning that the speed of the person and the speed of the disk is going to be the same okay so in short they are going to be moving with the same speed the disk and the person so we can say that in the uh, angular momentum before is going to be equal to the angular momentum after okay you can say before after or before collision after collision so i'll say more angular momentum before is equal to angular momentum after so angular momentum before we have got two things we have got in the inertia of the disk so i'm going to say that inertia one is going to be the inertia of the disk and then angular velocity of what in the disk i'm going to say this this is going to be plus the inertia of the person which is going to be two angular velocity of the person which is going to be two this is going to be equal to since these two guys are going to be moving with the same velocity we can say that the inertia one plus inertia two we put them in bracket we say we want to find the speed that is the final speed we want to find now this is the formula which we normally use under angular momentum whenever we're trying to come up with um, maybe the velocity the new velocity maybe the inertia and everything so now what we need to understand from here is that yeah, we have the mass we have been given the mass so it's just a matter of us finding the inertia of the person and the inertia of um, the disk so there we go so to find the inertia the formula for inertia is we start with the inertia of the disk inertia of the disk is given by half mr squared so the mass which we're talking about is the mass of the disk so I'm going to say that inertia this is inertia 1 for the disk we have half the mass is 150 times the radius we have been told that the radius of the disk is 6 meters so I'm going to say 6 I squared okay so we're going to say that this is going to give us 0 0.5 because 1 over 2 is 0 0.5 times 150 times 6 squared so this is giving me a 2000 so inertia 1 is giving me a 2700 kg meter squared now from here we can also find the inertia of the person now the inertia of the person is given by so we're going to say inertia 2 is given by mass times r squared why is it not half because the mass is concentrated at one point so that's why it is m r squared so we're going to say that this is going to be the mass of the person is 18 the radius if this is the disk this person is standing here the radius is going to be the same as the radius of the disk because this person is standing on top of the disk okay so we're going to have the same six squared so we're going to say that 18 times six then we have to square it 
this is giving me a 1800 so initial 2 is 1800 kg meter squared so this is the initial of the person now we want to find the new speed allow me to put this formula just to, on top there but before we do that we have the speed of the disk that was before that is 15 revolution per minute we have to convert this one into lard per second okay so to convert from revolution per minute to lard per second we have to like to use dimension analysis we are going to say that 15 revolution in one minute times we are going to have in one revolution we have 2 pi lard then in one minute we have 60 seconds so what you're going to have now is the leave and leave will cancel the minute and minute will cancel what are we going to remain with we're going to remain with lard per second so we can say that 15 times 2 pi i divide this one by 60 so this is giving me 1.57 so i have the the speed which is the speed for uh, we say the angular speed of the disk so that is 1 which is going to be uh, 1.57 lard per second our goal is to find the new speed so we, are, we say that initial 1 the angular speed 1 plus initial 2 angular speed 2 has to be equal to Initial 1 plus eh, initial 2, then we want to find this. So our new speed is this, is the one we are trying to find. So the angular speed, the initial 1, we have found that it is 2,700. A 2,700. Then times the angular velocity we should have is 1.57. Now what we have to understand here is, eh, initially the person was not eh, moving. So the, the velocity for the person the angular velocity was zero so this part is going to be zero we're not going to consider it this is going to be equal to the initial the pace uh, of the disk is at 2700 plus the initial of the person is a 1800 so i'm going to find the final speed we can get rid of this so we can see that we're going to have a 2700 times 1.57 this is going to give us uh, a 4.239 has to be equal to we add the initial 2700 plus 1800 so this is giving me initially this is supposed to be a 4000 and not a 4. Point supposed to be a 4000 we are saying that a 2700 times 1 1.5 1.57 it is a 4239 so this has to be equal to a 2700 plus 1800 this is giving me a 4000 500 then we have hmm, the final speed i will go to find the final speed i'm going to divide both sides by a 4500 even here a 4500 now what you have to understand is that hmm, before the person was sitting on top of the disc the velocity was one th was 1.57 lard per second now the velocity which you're supposed to find here because these two now we are moving together the disc and the person the velocity has to be less than 1.57 okay so these two they will cancel and we'll have our new speed as a 4239 we divide it by a 4500 this is going to be 0 point, 0 0.942 lard per second now in the question this is the answer you can leave it there or you can say since in the question we have been given that the first velocity which they gave us 
it is in revolution per minute. We can also convert this into revolution per minute. So we can say that 0 0.94942 large per one second we are going to say that in one revolution we have got 2 pi large then you want to convert seconds to minutes in 60 seconds we are going to find that we have one minute so from here we can see that the large and large will cancel the second and second will cancel we are going to remain with revolution per minute so we can say that 0 0.2 942 uh, divided by 2 pi this is going to give me then I do this times in a 60 so I'm getting my answer to be my final answer to be um, 9 is 8.995 but I've just rounded off to 9 revolution a second or per minute sorry now the answer is making a lot of sense because it's supposed to be less than the 15 revolution per minute okay